It was only about time we got a mirror match. Oh. And it gave me the loss for that. How nice. Thank you, 2K. Appreciate you very much. Mr. Marbury. And the foul on Miles Turner. What happened? Yo, the game just ended. Oh my God. What's up, YouTube? Back with another video. And today we have episode six of Win With Every Team, which is a play now online series where I get a win with every team. And on top of that, use that team's playbook. So today we got the Pacers. So you'll see a couple possessions of me using some plays in their playbook. I made a Pacers playbook video already. So if you want to check that out, I'll leave a card at the top right of the screen and the video link in the description. And in my intros, I normally like put together a couple gameplay clips and put some NBA commentary in the background. Around. but today i just wanted to show y'all that 2k be cheating me too 2k be lagging me out of games and giving me unnecessary losses that i really didn't deserve so i know that happen. i know that be happening to y'all y'all not alone it happens to me too which is kind of unfortunate because this has been a problem for like literally years and that sun's game that i was in was actually shaping up to be a close game i was actually down but I was confident that I was going to make the comeback and 2K was just like, nah, bro, hold that L. And I also don't have a full game. I just have like four games where like people just quit before halftime. And I tried to get the full game. But like I said, I got like four games where people quit by halftime. And then another two games where I lagged out and I was just like, yeah, I'm done. This is just going to have to do. I got a lot more teams left anyways. And y'all probably don't even really care about the Pacers, even though this team is actually like pretty good and it's probably the most underrated team on the game like for this team to be tier three is kind of crazy because they have a lot of really good usable players it's just that like individually the players aren't like they're not like cheesy and easy to use like but for me seeing that like i run plays and stuff like i could get a guy like chris, du chris duarte open shots he's a pretty good knockdown shooter his jump shot is pretty fast malcolm brogdon he's pretty okay like he can shoot it it's, he's just a little slow his dribbles aren't all that great either but he's still like pretty good so the bonus is a beast in the post and seeing that he's at the four he can actually bully like a lot of like fours because a lot of you know teams play small ball now so he can bully a lot of people in the post miles turner holds it down on defense and he can shoot threes so you could give you could play through Sabonis, bonus have people space the floor for him the bench is also not bad we got lance stevenson now and they also missing a couple players tj mcconnell and tj warren are both out injured so this team is actually pretty nice and they have some good pieces but also in real life they're gonna blow it up it seems like so trade deadlines coming up what do y'all think these players are go let me know in the comments and i hope you enjoy thanks for watching and stay tuned for more content five on the clock who's just baiting me here's brogdon into the lane perfect night so far two for two now it's a bonus two minutes remaining back to turner two minutes six to shoot Hits a three-pointer. Turner's got five now. That's that post-play make a goal right there. Confidence. You think that was something you always had as a player, Grant, or did you have to build that up? Well, I mean, success ultimately does breed confidence. And I had success, fortunately, at a young age. So you have to understand you have to always attack and you always have to believe in yourself no matter what the situation is. We've got 128 left in the first half of this game. For three, that's it again. It's Indiana with a three. The assist numbers certainly stand out. They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. Pass to Turner. Here's Brogdon. Levert with the ball. He's marked by Finney Smith. Here's Duarte. Oh, 18. Okay. See you. Down to five on the shot clock. And yep, it's good. That's what you call clamps. 30%. 
for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Connolly with the ball, now guarded by Brogdon. Get the ball. Stolen by Turner. In transition, here come the Pacers. Here's Sabonis. And good. Coming on the assist by Brogdon. He takes it in. Hangs. And the layup is up and in. And here in the first, about three minutes in. Conley with the ball. Here's Randolph. Gasol with it. Guarded by Brock. Oh, still that. Back to Gasol. Six to shoot. Always a nice way to start. Takes his first one. And you know, Gasol is used to taking on physical defenders. I mean, so good at staying. Yo, I just did the behind the back and they took me out the animation, bro. Shots good by Sabonis. Just so I could almost get a charge. Like, as a result here's Stevenson three-pointer is up from Brogdon Sinks it from a big shot. when you think about Brogdon and his three-point shooting it He's really fading. is a factor and a function of him being so good in the mid-range to the inside now Brogdon Pass to Duarte. Beyond the arc. Basket is good on the assist from Brogdon. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. I actually wanted to foul. Kevin, you can understand the shot selection. I mean, he wanted to go back at him. And... Right side, Conley. Nice move. Jump big. Here's oh. Davis. He's gonna need the kick up. out to Conley. This one That's for three. That good shot, no good. Get out of here. So Indiana will take it the other way. Levert outside. Let's the three fly. That's good. His first made shot, and we'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during halftime. Outside Brogdon. Pass to Levert. Here's Duarte. From downtown. And here's Turner. Allen defending. Another shot. Nice shot by Turner. You don't got a post spin technician. Try to spin on him. Lead. Exceptional skills for Turner down in the paint. This guy, I think, has the potential to be a dominant player inside for a lot of years. And the Pacers call time. He's about to quit. Left side, Johnson. To the wing, right side. Stolen. Down low. Here's Turner. My and then Turner with the dog. Good charts. Not the biggest power forward, but outstanding. Rising up off the ground. Pass to Turner. He takes it in. To the inside. And down it goes. Dumped it. Clock at six. Pulls up at the elbow. The Lakers with another miss. His touch from mid-range, that's almost always good. That won't shake his confidence. Levert. Good. Coming on the assist by Brogdon. Levert's got his second basket of the game. Well, the size that Brogdon has at the point guard, a good job of finding somebody over the top. Pass to Scott. Back to Johnson. Here's Worthy. And again, the Lakers, no good. Right side, Brogdon. 
All sorts of time. Malcolm Brogdon. And it's Indiana's score. Well, they've used the fast break well to score easy points and keep the defense unsettled. Yeah, they did a Ooh, good shot, boy. Initial thrust. Easy. Iso me, Lance. Right there, Let's go. Oh, yeah, Iso me, Lance. Good with it. Maybe use two hands Don't jump. Time. He knows where he is. Lance two points. That would go good. I'm making it real tough for you. I ain't gonna let you get comfortable. I ain't gonna let you get comfortable. Yeah, I'm gonna let you get comfortable. I ain't gonna let you get comfortable. Boxed. Boxed. Played in Chicago. Yeah, you know, I had a, a nice 27 against Scottie Pippen, but in fairness to Pip, he gave me 27 as well. So we kind of evened out. Here's Brogdon. After the Cavs picked up a basket a moment ago. Sinks it from a threat to them offensively. He's recorded around 19. I gotta start game. spraying from three. Yo. And first quarter, we're about I see three what and he's doing. Pass to Turner. Six on the shot clock. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Barbecue chicken alert. Barbecue chicken alert. He drains it as the shot clock ticks down. Well, I love to see that kind of heads up play from Sabonis. He's got an eye on the shot clock and knows he's got to get it up quick. Now here's Markadon. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Whoa, how did he get all the way to the rim? Well, I like seeing Allen get this kind of position because you give him the rock there and he can take care of the rest. It's Levert on the wing. The three-pointer off the mark. There's 49 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Here's Garland. Block. Tipped. Here's Duarte. His last outing, he had 18 points. The green Rocket from outside. He's able to rack up the block shots that he does. To the wing, right side. One second left. Oh, and he just knocked the down the buzzer beater. Makes the Cavaliers. And here comes Cleveland. It's a 10-point game. Sabonis on the double team. Allen a screen. Here's Garland. The Cavaliers again cannot hit. Well, you know he wants that one back. I mean, more often than not, he'll sink that mid-range jump. He drops yet another dive, just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Well, when you look at the assist totals, <laughs> yeah, it's almost too slow. <laughs> Is he quitting? Yeah.